Hello everyone, and welcome to a very exciting feature release where we are introducing CoinTime Economics. This is a result of about 18 months of collaboration between Glassnode and ARK Invest, and it really takes a first principles approach at many of the economic primitives we look at with Bitcoin and tries to assess it from a different lens. We look at it through the lens of investor holding time, and we use that to develop several economic primitives and also correct many on-chain metrics which have drifted over time to really achieve what we think is a substantial improvement over our current understanding of the Bitcoin economic flows. So CoinTime Economics builds upon the pioneering work of Tomas Blumer. And he came up with original metrics of liveliness and hodled and lost coins as far back as 2018. So five years later, we have progressed that work and taken this concept of investor holding time, coin day destruction, and really tried to elevate this and take it to the next level and just see how far this rabbit hole goes. So what we've developed off the back of this coin time economic suite is a mathematically robust and symmetrical framework where we essentially bifurcate the supply into three different regions, circulating, active supply, and vaulted supply. Now, what this allows us to do is without actually going to all of the heavy data engineering of tracking individual UTXOs, making assumptions about which coins are lost, we can use this model to actually account for an estimated number of lost coins. We can discount the influence of modern mining, of dilution, of investor spending, of all of these economic behaviors, the supply and demand dynamics. We can discount the impact on lost or long dormant coins without actually knowing which coins are lost or long dormant. Likewise, we can amplify those economic impacts. We can amplify the dilution by newly mined supply on the supply that we believe is not lost. And again, we can achieve this without actually measuring each UTXO. So all of this is based on a very, very simple mathematical framework, and it's consistent. One of the A coin can be in one area of the supply, but not the other. So it really is a binary system and quite easy to compute. In fact, you can compute all of these metrics off a simple text file. So what we do is we really reassess several of Bitcoin's economic models. We look at things like inflation rate, we look at stock to flow models, monetary velocity, various transactional ratios like the NVT and the RVT, these are models that really describe the economic activity for Bitcoin. And in many instances, these models under a traditional framework have actually drifted over the years. And what CoinTime Economics does is it really provides us a lens to not only explain that drift, but also account and mitigate it. So we can really start looking at the true economic impact. And a lot of this comes down to the requirement to discount lost and long dormant coins. And we believe that we've found several economic primitives which actually go back to the fundamental element of time, where we introduce the coin block. And the coin block is really this most low level measure of time within the Bitcoin ecosystem. And it's really that piece of work that allows all of these dynamics to be built on top of it. Now, one of the most interesting parts of this particular piece of work is our reassessment of the realized price. This has often been quoted to be the cost basis of the Bitcoin market where many investors have their average price. But what we've actually found is that we believe that that is an underestimate. It is masking many of the unrealized losses held by investors during bearish trends. And instead, this is actually much, much closer to a lower bound style model rather than a cost basis. And using the coin time economics framework, we have actually found a new model that we call the true market mean, which has a long term mean and median, which is very stable at around one, meaning that this model actually exists somewhere very close to the middle of the Bitcoin market and has done for almost its entire existence. And in many ways, this makes it for a very interesting mean reversion model um, to really understand those dynamics of what's going on in the Bitcoin space. Now, CoinTime Economics is a two-part report. We have part one prepared by ARK Invest, and this is really a primer. It's much more for investors. It's a higher level view, and it will go through those key insights and innovations that we discussed today. Part two is a much more detailed report prepared by the Glassnode side, and this is really for on-chain specialists, analysts, and those who are really looking to get into the formulations, the mathematical proofs, and understanding the real dynamics of this system. And we do have a live charting suite available in Glassnode dashboards underneath the Bitcoin category. 
And we hope that this really forms a bit of a springboard for innovation, some new ideas, something to really create a new foundation on which we can build new analytical tools, new mathematical frameworks, and really go to that next level when it comes to understanding the Bitcoin economy. So please do reach out if you have any questions or comments. We do look forward to hearing your feedback, and I hope you enjoy Cointime Economics. Cheers.